today we'll be taking a look at the Hoover Decade 80. A fellow collector sent me a photo of this at a local thrift place and it was like 10 bucks and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get that because <laughs> he didn't pick it up. So it's like, yeah. Um, this machine, I believe, is rated for about six amps, unlike the convertibles, which were rated for like 400. And uh, it has the plastic fan in it, which I think is six bladed, so definitely not as many blades on it as the metal fan. And then we have a hard fill tube in here because it uses the type A bag. So we have one of those Vacuum America Clean brand Royal B slash Hoover A slash whatever else in here. But I think due to the uh, difference in the fan and the fill tube, we're actually going to see airflow that is actually somewhat similar to the pink convertible I've measured or possibly even slightly lower. And this thing does have the uh, power surge to it, so it has a second position on the handle that is spring-loaded, so it only stays in the high-speed mode when you hold the button down. But we'll try to get uh, measurements for that, too. So, as per usual, we'll be starting with the wattage and the voltage. <laughs> up a little bit. have to switch to the shag setting. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, we're not getting much agitation. Why don't I try that? Or fly it. Yeah, 
it's kind of like the Hoover Jr. where we just don't have a good uh, height adjustment for it. Because clearly, if I lean it back, it's capable of producing agitation. Let's try the shake setting. It's almost a little too high. I believe that's the brush roll making all the chattery noise, which took those brush roll bearings apart and greased them after getting it all cleaned up, of course. I don't know. You know, it's a little noisy, but it's working and it certainly looks a lot better than it did. 